Hey, it's Friday. I'm Kelly, and we're going to talk about some steaks tonight. It's Friday Steak Night. Uh, we got some strip steaks going out here, uh, so we're going to talk strip steaks a little bit, and then to actually talk about the K KCBS National Steak Championship Series for just a little bit here as we're getting uh, the steaks done. Let's go out and see what we got going. Go on out here to the back of the trailer. We've got steaks doing a slow ride on the K4L drum smoker. There they are. They've been on for about 20 minutes. At about 300, we're going to bring them up to about 150. 1520 degrees internal temp. Then we're going to throw them in the rocket hot 500 degree cast iron skillet and give them a fast ride until about uh, 130 ish. Uh, 130, 135, and then we're going to let them rest and come all the way up and then all the way back down again until they, they're starting to cool back down. Uh, so we can start slicing on them. We'll see you in a little bit. So once we've got done with the slow ride and the K4L drum cooker, as I said, we're going to come over to a fast ride on the 475 to 500 degree uh, skillet. We're going to drop those in there for about a minute and a half on each side, let them get nice and brown and tasty and crunchy and good. And that's what we're looking for, it's good, even browning all over. So we're going to run these for about a minute and a half and then flip them. See what we're going to do. There we go with some nice and brown and tasty. That good caramelization on there. That's what we're looking for on these steaks. Let's get them off. We're going to let them rest until the temperature goes up and comes all the way back down. So here we have my version of a KCBS National Championship Steak Series steak turn-in box. This is what one might look like. This is kind of what I had envisioned. Uh, but really, that's what I really like about the KCBS National Steak Championship Series is it's the control of what you do is now back to the cooks. You get control over what steaks you get, you get control over what steaks you bring, you get control over how you put them in the box, you get control over how many slices you want to put in, you get control of how many steaks you want to cook at a contest, so you can decide if you want to cook six steaks, you can put six entry, uh, a slice out of each steak in there so for the six judges if you want to do it that way if you've got one really good steak one that real looks really good and the other you think is going to taste really good hey you got it made there we go but the slices you need to turn in six slices that's all you have to turn in but you get to pick those slices you're not dependent upon somebody sitting at a table somewhere determining what slices which judges get. You know these are probably going to be pretty good because you've sampled off either side of them. You know there's no big gristle marks in it. Um, so hey, you're probably setting pretty good. 
you also get to practice with the stakes that you're going to take to the contest. So before you even get to a contest, you know that you're going to have, you know how long your uh, steak cook time is going to be. You know when you need to start, you know when you need to start so you get done at the right time. Um, also, let these steaks rest. These, this one rested for about uh, 20 minutes before we sliced them. Because they're go we get to slice them, we don't necessarily want them going in good and hot before um, as trying to slice them and then put them in the box hot, you're going to lose all your juice and all your flavor out of them. So, anyway, that's kind of my thing on the KCBS National Steak Championship Series. Um, there you go. We'll be seeing you at a steak contest near you.